Hi, welcome to the PACET JavaScript Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. In this video, we're going to learn about functions that have parameters and how to declare them, about calls to the functions with parameters and how to create arguments to send to those functions. We're going to be looking at the function processing, how browsers process the call with the arguments to a function. We're going to look at some example code, including the syntax to create a parameter, syntax to create a call, we're going to do some code examples. We'll talk about where you store functions. We'll look at what you should take away after you have watched this video, the key takeaways. We'll look at links for other resources to learn more about functions and functions with parameters. And finally, I'll give you what your next steps are after watching this video and a code challenge. Functions are reusable pieces of code. One of the keys to making functions reusable is to create parameters that accept arguments and manipulate values. When creating functions with parameters, you should document your function to remind yourself quickly what the parameters are, what data types the parameter is set up to work with. Imagine going back to your code two years after you've written it, and now you need to understand what the function is supposed to accomplish. A parameter is very similar to a variable. It is a special place in memory that holds values that only the function that has the parameter can work with. No other location in your JavaScript can use the value by the name of the parameter. Therefore, a parameter is truly local to the function that creates it. Functions are processed by the interpreter when the page is loaded. Unless you've made a call to a function with an onload event, or there's a script within your page that runs and there's a call to that function, the function does nothing until it is called. Once the function is called, the call can include any arguments the function needs. Arguments can be variables that hold a value, or they can be literal values. The function captures the arguments and assigns it to the parameters in the same order as they are received. Once the function saves the arguments, it processes the JavaScript statements that are within the function block. Okay. And it's time to look at some code, starting with the basic syntax of declaring a function with parameters and the call to the function with arguments. So let's write the function first. The keyword function and the syntax we're showing, we're going to give it the function a name. And then we're going to declare parameters. The first parameter is going to be an integer. And they're separated with commas. The second one will be a string. And the third one, we're going to have it be a boolean. Okay, you can have as many parameters as you want. We could do pram four pram. 5, param, 6, each one a little bit differently named and all separated with a comma. For right now in our syntax, let's just look at 3. Then you'd have your opening curly brace and your closing curly brace. Now, like I said before, unless your function has a call to it, it's never going to run. So there are a couple ways that we can do that. We can respond with events or it can be in a JavaScript block someplace else as a simple call. So we're going to have just a simple call within another JavaScript block. So to call it, we're going to call the function name. Name, we're going to give it three arguments because we have three parameters. We're going to do int argument one, string argument can't type today, argument 2 and boolean argument 3. That's simply what the call to the function looks like. In this example code, I'll write a function that receives one argument, a string, which says a greeting for either morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on which button the user pushes. So we start by writing the function. and we're going to give it the name of greeting. It will receive one parameter, one argument that it will place in the parameter. 
which is message, and our opening curly brace and our closing curly brace. And we're simply going to do an alert, and we're going to get message. Then we need to have a event that will take place and call the, the function. So we're going to go down here to these input buttons, and we're going to have greeting and a single quote saying good morning and a single quote parentheses notice I'm using single quotes here because they're double quotes surrounding the on click event make this really easy I'm going to copy this paste it here make it good afternoon and paste it here and say good evening. Save this, run it in Firefox. Click if it's morning, good morning. If it's afternoon, good afternoon. And good evening, if it's evening. So you ought to try this in different browsers as well. What you should know after watching this video is you should understand that functions accept arguments and assign them into parameters. Functions can have any number of parameters. Functions are not processed unless they're called, and a call supplies the arguments to the function. So your key takeaways from this video? Functions are reusable pieces of code. You can call functions multiple times in your JavaScript code. Functions accept arguments from calling locations. Functions store those arguments into parameters. Where can you place your functions? Well, functions are most often stored in separate .js files. That's so they can be used for multiple pages. But functions can be stored within an internal page. If they are, place it in the head section. Always test your code. Test your code in all the major browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Opera. Other resources for you to learn about functions with parameters you can always use your CIW Certification Partners Electronic Materials, Books 24-7, um, you can look up JavaScript Bible 7th Edition Chapter 23 Functions, Objects, and Custom Objects, and Beginning JavaScript 4th Edition Chapter 3 Decision Loops and Functions, the Functions portion of it. And finally, some links that you can go to to look additionally. You can look at the New Boston the Beginner JavaScript Tutorial 7 Using Parameters with Functions, um, the W3C Schools, JavaScript Functions, Parameters, there's a euro for that. Quentin Watt did a very nice tutorial, JavaScript Beginning Tutorial 10 Functions, and Tutorial Spot JavaScript Functions. All of those URLs are right there. So what should you do next? Um, first, copy the code that's provided for you after this video. Run it to see if it works for you. And if you feel you have a good understanding of functions with parameters, create a web page that prompts the user for a current temperature in Fahrenheit and displays the temperature in Celsius. The formula for you there is written there. Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 ninths and equals the Celsius temperature. And as always, if you need extra help, be sure to talk to your instructor or your mentor. Thank you very much for watching this video in the JavaScript Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker.